Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite makes the process of becoming a published best-selling author as simple as sipping your morning cup of coffee. You can learn more about Authors Unite at AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner, and today I have Brett Cassavant with us. He's the director of recruiting of a small technical recruiting shop, co-founder of Technique, which is Boston's premier tech culture podcast, and welcome to the show, Brett. Tyler, thanks for having me on. It's, it's going to be awesome. I'm psyched. Of course, man. I'm pumped to have you on as well, and we'll dive right into the first question, uh, which is... What's the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? All right, so uh, it's an awesome question, and I was thinking about it. And you know, after after I graduated college, um, much like a lot of people, I was going through a bit of a rough patch, and I was pretty uh, unhappy with the job that I had at the time, and didn't have much kind of direction or motivation, and just kind of felt stuck professionally, personally. And I just thought to myself that I needed to change, and I decided to just start trying as many new things as possible, and just really kind of get out of my comfort zone in a, in a big way. Um, I did a lot of different things, traveled, skydived. I did anything I could, said yes to everything. But I always uh, always loved music, and I always wanted to learn to play guitar. And I, I took lessons, and it was one of the hardest things that I, I ever learned. And But uh, I fell in love with it, and I'm the type of person that hates being bad at anything. So I practiced constantly, like you know, literally till, till my fingers bled. And my apartment neighbors probably hated me and complained a bunch. <laughs> but uh, I didn't really care at the time. But uh, – but yeah, it just came really naturally in like in like six months. I was playing at open mics and playing small gigs around where I lived. And um, I had already planned a trip down to Nashville because I love country music and was just going for myself, kind of a soul searching trip and try to get soaking everything in. And when I uh, when I got off the plane, stepped on like Lower Broadway, the big major kind of legendary street in Nashville. And the first person I met struck up a conversation and somehow came up that I, I play guitar and he just flat out asked me, he goes, are you any good? And I, I, I of course, I'm saying, yeah, of course I'm good. Why not? <laughs> uh, and it turns out his nephew was a regular performer at one of the one of the, the, the hockey talks there. He brought me right over, and the guy, he introduced us, and he said, uh, all right, you any good? You want to play? I was like, uh, yeah, sure. He's like, all right, I'll give you 10 minutes. If you suck, uh, I'll come back. But it uh, went pretty well, and you know, I was pretty excited. And then the next day, I went to another bar, and the other bar asked me, asked me if I could play and let me play around Nashville. So... Like six months after doing it, I tried something new and got to play in kind of one of the more legendary stages in, in a, a music city, music music mecca, so to speak. And I guess the lesson was just like, don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Because shortly after that trip, I came back, recharged the batteries, and I made a decision to change uh, professions and found a completely different career path. And, and okay. I am where I am today, and it's been uh, so helpful for me. Yes, that's awesome, man. Thanks for sharing that. Um the next question is, is, what's the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Yeah, so uh, so on the, the podcast we do, it's, it's focused on culture in the tech industry. And um, what it, it talks about how to build great company culture. And the best piece of information I can really give or share is that culture within an organization is just as important, if not more important, than any actual product itself. It's, uh, it's something that requires constant attention, maintenance, a poor company culture can destroy entire organizations quicker than anyone can really realize it. So um, the things I like to tell people is if you don't take care of culture, culture will take care of yourself. And it's something that, mm -hmm. that you won't be able to direct if you don't pay attention. And what's your best piece of overall business advice? Celebrate success, learn from failures, and don't be afraid to change. When things are going great, by all means, celebrate. That's why you're doing it. But if something isn't going right, whether a product feature isn't doing well, or sales last quarter were down, figure out new ways to do things, learn from what happened, and don't get stuck and don't repeat. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Oh, wow. This one's tough because <laughs> I would tell myself a million things. But uh, you know, <laughs> one of the things I'd probably say, learn how to write software code. That's that's one. But uh, <laughs> that's something my dad always told me when I was a kid and it always kind of stuck me was uh, enjoy the ride. And I, I, hear, I heard it all the time and I, it now kind of resonates with me because it's you're going to go down a ton of different roads in life. And if you don't forget to enjoy if you don't enjoy the ride, you know, you're really going to wonder where you're at and take a look at yourself and be really upset with where you're at if you don't enjoy it. 
And that kind of maybe ties in with the next one, but in your opinion, what's the key to happiness? Yeah, definitely. So my, um, my key to happiness and, uh, it's not so cliche, but I love the saying is find your North star, uh, never lose sight of it. So it, to me, it's about finding what you're passionate about, never be afraid to chase after it and do it and never make excuses for doing the things that truly make you happy that you're passionate about. And what's the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from it? Yeah. So, um, my favorite book uh, that I've read uh, over and over again, it's uh, called extreme ownership by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin and, it's uh, two former Navy SEALs that share leadership principles that they learned during training and combat situations and apply it to business. And the biggest thing that I learned from it or I take away from it, but I mean, every time I read it, I take something else. But right now it's prioritize and execute and it's applied in countless facets in life, not only business, but especially as a, you know, an entrepreneur or a business owner, it's easy to get caught up in you know, grandiose ideas that can pull you away from the problems that are facing directly in front of you. Always have to keep that end goal in sight. But always stay tr- and always stay true to your mission, but you'll never get there if you don't prioritize and execute on immediate needs right away. And what's your favorite quote and why? If you're the smartest person in the room, go to another room. You know, if you're if you're not learning, you're not growing. It's important to surround yourself with people who can you can learn from, people who challenge you and push you to be better. And if you're in a room where you're constantly the one with the best ideas, you know. No one's going to tell you that your idea sucks. You need, you need to hear that sometimes. I love that, man. Thank you uh, so much for coming on, man. The last question I have for you before we let you go is uh, where's the best place for people to find you online? Yeah, absolutely. So check out, uh, go to the website. It's www.technique, T-E-C-H-N-I-Q dot I-O. And you can also listen to our podcast up on iTunes uh, under Technique. Awesome, man. Thank you again for coming on. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.